Hello everybody, I am Sheffield and welcome back to Let's Play Quake Mission Pack 1 The Scourge of Armagon So after the last level's rather shall we say unusual design I'm I'm a little bit you know, I'm just a little bit shook up after that one level is the power generator and right at the end it just kept fucking killing me repeatedly because of it being such bad design. I, I see a mine and it's coming right for me. don't like the mines not because they keep killing me I just don't like them as a general idea I, I, I just don't I just don't think that it's, it's a great idea I just don't I just don't find them fun in any shape or form right so this level is called pandemonium why it's called that considering there's only a 69 kill going on here. There is a weapon in there and I'm gonna get it. I can't even see what weapon it is. Is it a super nail gun? I believe it could be. What is going on here? This is a bit weird. Oh. You know what? Let's go face to face. How about that? You know, mana me mana. I'm not really understanding this. Why am I getting enforcers all of a sudden? I'm not quite understanding it. You generally only find them in the military areas. <clears throat> so I'm I'm not quite understanding why we're getting enforcers all of a sudden. Is there a switch or something somewhere to maybe open that? No? Because I can't just start fit through. Not this man of pure and utter bulk. Five shells. How generous of them. Ah. Yes, ogres, they like to take ambush. Um, fuck no. Why don't they just keep going? Mines. Why do they stop when they lose sight of me? These mines. They're not great because they're kind of buggy as well at the same time. Where was all this ammunition when I needed it? You know? I could have done with all this ammunition like several levels ago. Man, those spiders, uh, scorpions are f fucking quick. <laughs> there we go. One down. Two down. Can I not? Uh, okay, obviously I have to press that one. Okay. Oh, this is normal. That was rather dramatic for something that I knew was going to happen anyway. But okay. Don't, don't think all that was really 
completely necessary, but <laughs> sure, I'll go with it. Ow. Fucking fiends. They really do make my life difficult. So a barrier has been lowered. Which is probably the one up here. Yes, it is. Now, is there any health going around, per chance? Pray, do tell. Is there any health going around, per chance? Mm, it's not looking promising, is it? What is this pandemonium? I, I don't... Uh, I don't know. I don't know why there's grunts and that everywhere. It's not exactly very military, is it? Sure. Go with it. Oh, boy. <coughs> I wasn't expecting a war. Well, I don't understand this. Why are they throwing grunts and everything at me now? Yeah, in the last level, they threw nothing but death knights, wars, and shamblers at me. And zombies. Kind of... It's a little bit weird, isn't it? Wouldn't you agree? That this are just... Chucked everything at me? Ah, that's how we get in there. Nice. And they chucked all the top enemies at me in the last one. I know that you can't really call a zombie top enemy, but... You know, the fact that I was low on ammo and they just chucked everything at me, that was a bit ridiculous. And sort of now I'm getting grunts and augers. I I just I don't know. It doesn't make much sense to me. It kind of I I don't know what what went wrong here, but and I can't I can't really say right now, but. I don't know, it, it almost felt like <coughs> they just started throwing shit together uh, after, you know, once it got to a point and they were just like, oh, we're bored of this now, let's just throw them together and, because the level design is not as tight as it was, it's, it's not, at, oh, motherfucker. It isn't as solid as it was at the start, well, I'll be honest, it wasn't, like, the level design wasn't very solid from even the start, but, you know, the, the mines and that, but, I don't know, I'm not, I'm not even sure who the developers were, because, jump through the rift to exit. Okay, well, I'll do that in a moment. I'm I am finished here, actually. Right, let's move on. Okay. Oh, back to this again, is it? Back to starting off with shamblers roaming the halls and... Oh, yeah, we're back. I mean, I don't mind... Like, they have increased the difficulty, there, there's no doubt about that, they've basically just stuck in more of everything. But, like, that I don't have a problem with. Because, you know, I, I like a good challenge and it's supposed to be tough. But, when they start adding in stupid things, like in that one level where you actually had to dodge... Well, you couldn't even dodge the lightning, it's as simple as that. But where you had to try and get deactivate a machine that was firing at you and it had one little blind spot and that was it. That is just not good because And on top of that, like before you could even go near it you had to defeat like three shamblers. And you know, like and on top of that you know, your health is limited and everything else, so... 
point that I'm trying to make is, is that one level? What happens if someone has used up all their health packs, they've only got about 40 health left, and there's not a single health pack left in the level? What do they do? They can't finish the level because of the lightning machine. And that is not good game design, because it means they have to restart the level because of a fucking stupid idea in the design. I don't agree with it. It's ridiculous, and it's the old fucking... trick with the fiends again. But this, this is what I mean. It, it, it was completely and utterly unnecessary. They didn't have to have the... Like, there was enough shamblers there, and there was enough enemies already there. They didn't have to go adding a machine that basically destroyed you. Limbo? Is that what we're... Ah, oh, shit, I didn't save. It. Sorry. I was so busy talking, I <laughs> forgot about it. You know, th they had enough firepower there already. They didn't need to go bringing in fucking some machine that shocked you. That just that just sounded like you know. Oh, we're gonna piss off the player now, just for the sheer and utter shits and giggles. It was just, it was mad. It was there was no need for it whatsoever. Like the. But, you know, it was just... It was bad form. It was just bad design, it was just bad idea, and... You know, it, it kind of makes you wonder, did anybody test this fucking game before it went out? Or did they just say, right, okay, we've got the levels for you. Hey, Karma, give me me money. Romero, give me me money. You know what I mean? Like, and the rest of the thing. Look, it's software. I've made you like 16 levels or however many levels is in this. Here you go. Now give us our money. Has it been tested? Yeah. Well, not really. Just give me money. That, that's that's kind of that's kind of the attitude I get here. And it does not bode well with me. It just I don't know it. Some of the levels are questionable. The design is questionable. There is no doubt about that. I really get confused. Because it looks so similar to another area. Okay. That's fair enough now. Of course, I had to wear off before I could kill that. I see it. I am so confused right now because there's so many different ways to go. I can go down there, which I don't even know where that leads to. And there's another way to go as well. Back near the start. This is confusing. Really confusing. And now we got this scumbag. I didn't want the wetsuit yet. Ah oh, man. Thank goodness for that health. I certainly need it. Um. Well, we got a ring of shadows. It doesn't necessarily make anything easier. I don't think it was. Uh huh. Okay. I have no idea where I'm going. As long as there's not Vor here, I'm okay. 
There we go. <coughs> I mean, yeah, okay, it's quick. You can't really complain. Well, I just jinxed myself, didn't I? Oh, I'm gonna let them battle it out for a minute. I need to find some health and quick. Because otherwise I'm gonna be in trouble. Okay, I can I can attack them from here anyway. Fucking grenades. I just I just feel that um one or two things could have been done a bit differently and a little bit better. I mean, it's quick, yeah, okay, you, you have that, that's what you're paying for, but at the same time, I would have liked to have gotten the same quality of level design, but, you know, it, it wasn't Romero that, you know, designed these levels, like, he, he didn't design all the levels in Quake either, um, was that said, like, John Romero was a level designer, but he didn't design all the levels. What just happened? Just bring the lift down here so that we can go, please. Thank you. Um, no, he didn't design every level, but he he did, you know, a large majority. No, nope, nothing there. I thought maybe. But, um, the level design has flaws in, in, in this mission pack, and it's disappointing, but you've got more of Quake, you know, I, I suppose like, anybody that's buying this, that's what they're buying it for, is, is literally far more, more Quake, so, yep. I want it to go down, not up. So, you know, I, I suppose technically you're getting what you pay for, I suppose, but I would have liked some better level design in, in, in some areas, definitely. I mean, it, it, it's far from a failure. I mean, I, I've, I've played more buggy full games that have been nearly impossible to play because of their bad <coughs> because of their extremely bad design and just overall crappiness I mean um, Apocalyptica was one that it was so bad the graphics were terrible for its time the AI was as stupid as a turd floating in a toilet. The just everything was just bad about that game. Like there was one level and you actually had to rely on the AI in order to get through it and the AI was just so thick that it just it caused more problems and you ended up having to restart the mission. Oh fuck. You know, it's just stupid things like that that really annoy me. <laughs> the old fiend in the water trick. Okay. It doesn't get old, I suppose. It did do it in the last level developer. Still. You caught me the first time, you're not going to catch me the second time. Whoa, 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 whoa. Nice, some armor. Okay, that obviously isn't even meant to open. There we go. Okay. Now we have to go the whole way back down. Uh, is it this one? No, it was the next one down. Never mind, I can just go down here. This'll do either way. Um, 
Okay, let's just save. This could be a shadow just waiting right outside the door for me. It does happen. There we go. Whoa, 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 whoa there. Man, these things are fast. They're like lightning, man. Well, that's all the enemies. And into the rift we go! You know what? Now that I'm looking at that, I guarantee you, if I shot that little sign right there, that red one, it probably would have opened something. Probably would have opened the secret now that I'm looking at it. But oh well, too late now. The gauntlet! Well, this is going to be fun. But I'm going to leave this one for the next part. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video. And as always, I will see you in the next one. Thank you.